shaman. Yeah, again, what we have to note is that King of Kimchi did go down two games to zero. Mm -hmm. And then ended up, and he played game one Hunter, he played game two Hunter, game three Hunter, until it did work. So it's just another case of not thinking too hard mm -hmm. about what your opponent's going to pick and what they're going to do. And just focus on your own game, have trust in your decks, that's why you brought them to the tournament. Right. And uh, do you actually like the um, overload? So I'm assuming this is this might be actually a mid-range uh, shaman with the overload removers, or do you also see those in uh, Exeter decks as well? Yeah, the Sentinel. It's been it's been in and out of the meta game for a little bit now. It used to be an automatic two of just a body, and it's a the lava shock. So bringing your bringing your crystals back. Yep. I don't really mind it. I haven't seen this deck exactly, but it is an aggro shaman mostly mm -hmm. from Orokusaki. So just maybe focusing on some of those burn spells and probably playing the uh, Flame Reef Faceless and mm -hmm. then playing the Sentinel after that just to bring back his mana crystals, maybe throwing out some uh, some Spectral Wolves after that. Right. Electing to go with just the... Uh, this is... It's interesting, very mm -hmm. interesting that he's playing the Flame Waker instead of the Totem Build. Does this just protect his, um, uh, it just gives him a little bit more health on board, or like, or protects it against the Overload next turn? Because he could have overloaded and then, um, oh right, he used the Lightning Bolt to clear my oh, guys. Yeah, 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 so he, he wouldn't have been able to play the set in the league next turn. Um, if he did go for the Overloaded, uh, Totem Golem, so. Like, I, I can see it here, okay? Yeah, this play is fine here from uh, Rokusaki, King of Kimchi. I like, I like King uh, King Ard. Gonna clear with the lightning bolt and then throw down the sentinel. We keep going face, and then uh, you know, Flame Wreath is probably gonna come up next turn and Hunter again. He does have Deadly Shot to deal with it, but with the like few minions on board now, it's gonna be you know just kind of a lucky draw. Although uh, the Stranglethorn's not too bad if he really needs to just clean some of them up beforehand. Yeah, just making sure that he can he can kill this Totem Golem nice and clean. He's gonna have to get lucky. He knows it. King of oh, yeah. Kimchi knows it. He's gonna have to king. He's gonna kill the three four. Do you, an animal companion, if you can get the, uh, if you can get Huffer. Oh, oh big. Okay, good. Okay, yeah. that's, yeah. That's big. So, obviously, trading into the Tone Golem. Ensuring uh, the deadly shot. Instead of the 50-50, he gets the 100%, which is huge. Yeah. The Sentinel, it, it's only going to contest, and, like, the Stranglethorn Tiger is going to get too much value. He's basically taking four mana instead of just two mana. Mm-hmm. And, Interesting. Um, he is electing to go with this. Like, it's not an easy decision. Okay. Not an easy decision at all. But if he gets the taunt, like uh, the heal doesn't help too much at the moment. But uh, he'll be able to carry it off. Do you can just go face here then and uh, hope that the shaman trades, or do you want to um, like, uh, I, or do you want? To I trade? think I think that we do need to. The other would be you know clear off the you could clear off the just the totem and then stampeding right and get rid of that and then we have the three two still up and the five one mm -hmm. but yeah this clears up the board just a little bit better yeah like with the tundra rhino your beast you don't have to play it before mm -hmm. it's not like the old a war song commander where you have to play it before any of your beasts that are sleeping you can bring alive with tundra rhino mm -hmm. Yeah, and then going to be able to clear up the board pretty nicely. Uh, the Pulp of Shock and Hand's not going to be able to do too much. And again, he just does, the Shaman just doesn't have any need to like, come back from this game too much. Um, and, you know, Doomhammer might be an okay pickup just to start doing damage to the face, but... He is playing both of the cards in his hand. Mm -hmm. But it, he, he's really thinking, like, am I really playing this three? Which one do I kill? Because if I kill the 5-1 and it gets buffed... And it kills my flame waste for free. Yeah. But if I don't kill the Tundra Rhino, then it's going to have so much value. Yep. This is the turn. Around. This is the turn. The game is coming so back. So he doesn't actually kill either of them. He just totems up. Yeah. I don't know, like, that That definitely isn't right, right? Because he needs to take off some of that damage. Like you were talking about, He's up, the Hunter's on the clock, and he needed to um, he's single face. Although, now both these Probably. need to trade, right? Yeah. I mean, both of those doesn't, he's probably going to oh, put yeah, in the yeah. Grub, just because the Tundra Rhino has so much value, mm -hmm. and if that Nazoth comes back and starts throwing down three or four minions on the board, 
that can just go straight to face right away. That's huge. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't see them as all pick up there. That's yeah. That's no, I don't. Thing. I don't really mind the play by Rokusaki mm. in that position. He's still at thirty health, and then it sucks leaving those two minions on board. Mm. However, he's giving himself more versatility going into the next couple turns, right. being able to kill anything basically with that lava burst because the hunter has no minion that's over 5 health except for Nizoth the Corrupted. That's mm. the only one that has 7 health. Every other threat, uh, some have some have Ragnaros, but we know that this list from King of Kimchi does not have that particular minion. Right, so he's going to get the 2 for 1s and that just kind of outvalue trading is what's going to bring him back. So the Doomhammer does come up, he's going to be able to just start dealing damage to the face, and he also has a Lava Burst, so... He's this... leaving this. He's yeah. leaving this alone. Yeah, for sure. Now that Dakota is <laughs> one thing, the Tundra Rhino is completely other thing. The Tundra Rhino falls under the category of Frothing Berserkers. Um, so Zoth's going to come out, I'm surprised, like, well, yeah, that wasn't a ton of value he got from that, and the Houndmaster would have prevented a lot of the damage, right? Like, he would have uh, stopped... Oh, that's it, right? That's it. That's it! Oh my god. Well, I'm so, like, I was so surprised he didn't pick up the taunt there, right? He needed yeah. to block some of that. That was...